coming up. How I nearly crashed my plane on takeoff. But first, this is the route for this weekend. Cromer, North Norfolk to Sandown, Isle of Wight. 187 nautical miles, which is around 215 miles. And I set off and it was a glorious day. Stopped into Popham, really busy, great atmosphere, and then pushed on towards Southampton. I was lucky to see HMS Queen Elizabeth heading out to sea. Together, these two aircraft carriers cost us 7.4 billion pounds. An incredible sight to see. There she is, the Isle of Wight. What an amazing evening. What an amazing flight. This has just been fantastic. And here we are, 3,000 feet flying over the Solent. What an evening. Just look at this, it's absolutely fantastic. I tell you, there is nothing, nothing beats this. Amazing, really is amazing. The flights come together really well. And then landing into Sandown, it was pretty busy this time, really good atmosphere. So we get all packed up, get the tent out. Great night. Everything is going great until the next day. Well, I will never forget this morning. And if you look at the speed, 60 miles an hour, I should be really flying by now. There is something seriously wrong. I'm starting to think maybe the over center catch is not in properly, it hasn't been rigged properly. There is clearly something very wrong with this aircraft and I just want to be back on the ground. When I jumped out, I looked at the wing and it was absolutely saturated. The dew overnight had got into everything. Look at the windsock and then came the sea mist. Finally, at 14.25, I spotted a gap and decided to go for it. I knew the weather further north would clear. It was just a case of getting over the downs. At this point, I thought, if I can't see the other side, I'm gonna have to go back. crossing the Solent at a thousand feet. Not my idea of a good time. But look, we can see the other side. Let's go for it. The good news is I am really shifty now. My ground speed is over 90 miles an hour. There is one hell of a tailwind. We're gonna make it. I had to laugh and I knew I was gonna make it. When I looked down and I saw the angle of this yacht, wow, it is windy here. 
and it's right behind us. Sure enough, the cloud cleared quickly. By Oxford, it was pretty clear. By Norfolk, it was a brilliant day. And we got there at five o'clock, so, what, two and a half hours, including flying around some no time. Pretty good, non-stop. That was quite a trip. 